everyone, I'm Virginia Lindsay from Ginger Cake Patterns and Design and today I'm going to show you how to make three quick, cute, useful little projects, sewing projects for summer. Um, this is going to be really fun, I think. I'm, well, the first thing we're making is this little insulated sleeve for a water bottle, like plain ugly water bottle, really cute fabric sleeve. Uh, the next thing is a little uh, wet bag for the pool. And that's really fun. It just uses a Ziploc bag. You don't have to buy any special materials. And the third thing is this cute, easy uh, little um, head tie, kind of a head scarf that ties in the back. I'm gonna show you some cute tricks to make that uh, really pretty. I hope you get to visit that. And uh, let's get started on our projects. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is make that cute water bottle cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure. So I'm gonna mark how far it is around the water bottle. And again, this works best with a straight up and down water bottle uh, instead of one that's curved. And so we're just gonna go like this. We need to have a seam allowance. It doesn't need to be super duper perfectly tight, but let's just mark, I put a mark here. And that is going to be a good fit to go ahead and cut my insel bright batting, which will insulate the water bottle. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take this piece of small fabric. This is that cute Anna Maria Horner fabric that I love. And I'm going to have the top part be a little bit longer because what I think I'm going to do to finish the top of it is to go like this instead of doing a whole lining, just for the sake of making things quicker. And I don't imagine I'm gonna like wash this a bunch. If you are washing it, you could make a lining. Okay. So now I have that done, and I think that'll make a really nice, I'll be able to fold that over and go like this for the finishing. And the next part we have to do is the round bottom. So I'm just going to take my water bottle and just use this crayon again and trace the bottom. Now I'm going to cut it a little bit wider for the seam allowance. See that? Not perfect. I don't think it's going to matter. And then do the same thing. Let's see if I can fit that. I can, just barely. Might be cute to do a different fabric here on the bottom. There we go. So that's going to go here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and baste that together on my sewing machine. Okay, here I have the circle part that I basted. And I just, you baste it by putting that on your longest stitch and going around pretty close to the edge. So those two are solidly together. And then also, next I'm gonna sew up, I'm gonna make this into a tube. And one thing I just did, I didn't, I'm not gonna sew this down yet, but I went ahead and I folded over the top edge and then I, I pressed it one time and then I pressed it again to fit nicely over the insel bright batting. And I did that all along. And this is just a way to when I do sew the top down, it'll already be um, pressed for me. And that just makes that end process a little bit quicker and easier. Um, but we're gonna, now I'm gonna take these two together like this. And you can pin this or use the clips that I like to use. Evergreen art clips. The link is down below. You can get them on Amazon or whatever. And I'm going to sew these two together. Okay, there I sewed those that into a tube. See that? This isn't sewn down yet. But what you need to do then is uh, use finger press the seam out. And now I am going to sew the top down. See, so since I already pressed it, it just is an easy fold down like this. And then on my machine, I'm going to take off the sleeve 
and then just hopefully this will fit. Yeah, almost gonna get it. And I'm just gonna slide around. This is a tight fit. I could probably do it without putting it on the sleeve. But. Okay, see that? Okay, right here I just clipped together the bottom and it was a nice fit. Um, and then I'm just gonna sew these two together on the machine. And this you just need to go nice and slow, okay? You can, here, let's move over to the machine again. I still have the cover off, it doesn't really matter at this point. Insert the needle. Just go slow. There. And can you see how that sewed on really nice? I'm just going to turn it inside out. And we'll go see how it works. Check it out, it's a great fit. Isn't that cute? Okay, the next thing we're gonna make is a, a little um, bag for like a, a waterproof, semi-waterproof bag for wet bathing suits. So I was looking, trying to look for stuff I had around and um, I found, first of all, I was just gonna use this um, freezer bag, but then I found this big one. So I think we're gonna try to use this big one. Um, to experiment with this. So if you have, I think a freezer bag would work fine. It just is gonna make a smaller bag if you have just a gallon size. But if you happen to have a big one around, I think this will be really good. We're gonna cut off the closure. And then I'm gonna cut, now these are some old sewing scissors. I know I shouldn't be cutting, but I have so many sewing scissors, I just decided to these I still cut some fabric with, but I also will cut my paper and a variety of other things. So I open that up and you can see it's a nice big piece of plastic and I'm just going to take this piece of fabric and I'm going to cut it to size. Here's my rotary cutter. I'm going to cut these to be the same size. Okay, so I'm going to place these right sides together. And I'm going to go get my clips and I'm going to clip them together so that they can. And I'm going to then sew on my machine. I'm going to sew these two right sides together and leave an opening for turning it all inside out. Okay, so I sewed those two together, and when you're sewing plastic and fabric together, you need to just stop and make lots of adjustments. I use clips instead of pins, um, and then I I just kind of went nice and slow, and I would stop and I would adjust and sew again. And in a cup like and here, I didn't do a great job of cutting my plastic bag open, so I had to kind of go over that section. But basically, it turned out just fine. Now you want to clip your corners. And through that opening you made, let's turn it inside out. And use your fingers to poke out those corners. Now, it's a good idea to press it. You need to press it on a pretty low setting though, um, to not melt the plastic and cause a problem. So I am going to go press it, but instead of pressing it on cotton, which I normally would do, I'm going to press it on like wool or poly or something. And then we're, I'm going to press it nice and flat and uh, then show you the next step. Okay, so I pressed it gently, but you can still see it melted it a little bit right here. It's still going to be fine, I think. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create like a little, um, a little opening. This is almost like doing an envelope pillow. I'm going to fold this down 
let's say, you know, about a third of the way, and then this one's going to come up over it. So it creates this nice little box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clips, and I'm going to clip all along in here, and then I'm going to just sew down these two sides. Okay, here it is all um, clipped together. And I'm going to give myself a pretty wide, maybe a half inch seam allowance, because on the back, I have this error right here. And since there were, and I think that's because I kind of shrunk the, um, the plastic right there. You know, there are no rules about, I haven't made any, doesn't have to be a specific width, so it's totally fine if I'm going to kind of lose some of my um, width here. Uh, so I'm just going to start and I'm going to sew a nice wide seam allowance on both sides. Okay, by the way, sewing on plastic is is kind of slippery and you're going to want to change your needle out after to go back to sewing with regular cotton. Okay, I turned it inside out and poked out those corners. I didn't clip them though because you know, then you're going to open up the um, the seam. Right now we have a finished seam in there. So I didn't clip them. I just I just pushed them out with my fingers and and then the whole thing just the top folds over just like this. And now you have this perfect little bag to put bathing suits or whatever might be damp you know if you're on a hike or whatever you kind of have a little protection so the rest of your stuff in your bag doesn't get wet and you can see the inside is this just a basic plastic bag so solution fast sewing solution my favorite okay on to the next thing Okay, our final quick summer project are going to be these like head scarves. Um, so what's cool about this one is that you can go, this is using the width of the fabric, which is, this is like a 45 inch fabric. Um, and this isn't a super uh, thick fabric. This is from Art Gallery Fabrics and they're sort of um, more of a thin fabric. So if you're shopping at Joann's or something, you want to go over to the best fabric to make these is maybe in the garment section like a, a just like a shirting fabric or something that's still all cotton but not real thick quilting or calico fabric okay so you're just going to take it and you're going to sew this right sides together but the trick is going to be you are going to sew starting here you're going to sew down the edge and then in and you're going to leave an opening right here and then sew all the way down and you're going to leave another opening at this end right here not at the end we're not leaving this open we're sewing down and then over and leaving an opening of a few inches okay so at my machine i sewed all the way i sewed the tube together uh, with a quarter inch seam allowance and then, but I did leave this opening right here. You can see that, it's about four fingers. So now I'm gonna cut my corner right here and cut this off. And do the same down here. I'm also gonna cut this corner here. You can see that because that is gonna give me a nice sharp edge on both of these corners and will look extra pretty in the back of the headband. So then you're going to go ahead and turn the piece right side out. Okay, I am going to use my tube turner because it's fun. You just, this one, I actually, I can't find my thicker one, but this is from Dritz and you can get a pack of two and one is thicker and one is thinner for this little, for smaller applications, but they, this one will work. You just, so you clip it, you open up this little part and you clip it right here. And this is only a few dollars. And then you just pull it along like this. And the tube comes out. Isn't that nice? I love those so much. Then you have to find that opening and let it out again. Okay, and at this edge, we're gonna also push the corners out there. Push the corners out here. 
And now over to your ironing board and you press really well with the seam on the edge. Okay, so there's a couple ways to close up this, these little openings. You can use this um, product called Steam a Seam Light. Um, and it is, it's basically like this little tape and you fuse it to one side and then you peel off the paper and it fuses to the other side. And it's really, um, it's really nice and fast. But if you don't have that and you don't feel like going to the store to buy it, you can just do a blind stitch, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right here. And a blind stitch is basically just kind of doing a ladder stitch in between so that it's um, blind to the outside. And I'm just going to go in right here. I already have my um, needle and thread ready. And then I'm just going to pick up, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sew on this outside edge. Okay. I'm just sewing in between the two. It doesn't have to be really tight stitches. It just has to be on this, um, on the seam. It's between the seam allowance fabrics. And I usually sew a few. And then t I don't tighten it up each time. I wait a little while before I tighten it all up. And that kind of makes it easier. It's a little awkward because I'm holding it away from me so that you guys can see it. But can you see that? It's like a ladder stitch, but not, not showing up on the outside at all. And then you tighten it and it's like in between and you can't see. See that? So I'll just keep going. See how it comes together like that and it's not visible on the outside? That's how you do it. Just back and forth. Okay, so there you go. Three quick projects um, that I think are so fun. And just remember when you're sewing, you don't need to get caught up in expensive materials or fancy techniques. You can just do basic things and make really fun and useful stuff that's also very pretty that you made yourself. That's what's so fun about sewing. And don't go. Check it out and I will see you soon. Happy sewing.